Hello, thank you for joining me today for the day 12 of the Prosperity for Posterity devotional. The topic for today is, I am a partaker of the divine nature. The Bible passage is taken from 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 2 through 4. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which has been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Today's devotional is an affirmation rooted in the scriptures pertaining to our new nature in Christ. Becoming a partaker of the divine nature means that the characteristics of God's nature are now my own. For example, among others, we know God's nature is love. God is love. Then that means I am love too. And 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 4 to 8 tells us all about love. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. So as partakers of God's divine nature, love, we are by nature patient, kind, humble, honoring, selfless. We are good and celebrate the truth and so on and so forth. Another characteristic of God's nature is divine health. Thought John verse 2 tells us, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Since we know there is no sickness or heal health in God, that is, it is not in God's nature to be ill. As partakers of his divine nature then, we live perpetually healthy. We can live perpetually healthy. The World Health Organization defines health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and does not only consist of the absence of disease or infirmity. That means you are a partaker of perpetually healthy life, a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. That is your inheritance Lay hold of it today because you are a partaker of divine nature. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today because we have your divine nature. Thank you, Lord God, for the redemptive work of Christ that has given us this nature, O oh God. I pray, mighty God, that you grant us the grace to believe and to embrace this nature, O oh God, and to live accordingly as love, as one in perpetual health, and all the other glorious inheritances that we have in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. I'm so glad you could join me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I want to remind you, you have the nature of God. So live with that, uh, with that awareness and live in the liberty that God has given to you. So thank you so much once again. If this is your first time here and you've been blessed by this, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also share it with other people. Let this be a blessing to others as it has been to you. God bless you. Until, until I come your way again, have a wonderful week and stay blessed. Bye-bye.